Well, Labor and the CLP have traded barbs over the economy in the lead up to Saturday's Northern Territory election. Our reporters, Matt Cunningham and Trudy McIntosh, have been on the campaign trail in Darwin today. Let's go to you first of all, Matt. Labor has, uh, well, uh, hit out the CLP over the cost of its election promises. I guess at least we're not talking about uh, COVID and who can keep up with the borders for longer. Makes for a nice change, uh, doesn't it, Tom? There has been something of a shift from Labor in the past couple of days. Uh, I really think uh, since Tuesday we've seen Michael Gunner, the Northern Territory Chief Minister, the Labor leader, come out on the attack, on the issue uh, of the economy, funnily enough, considering that uh, we're looking at a record $8.2 billion of debt here in the NT. But he and his Treasurer, Nicole Manison, were at it again today. They've been uh, asking what it is the CLP are going to cut if they're going to bring the budget back into the black, given that they've made plenty of promises in the lead up to this election. What are they going to cut, sack and sell? Come clean with Territorians about that. So we are calling upon the CLP and Territory Alliance here today, two days out from the Territory election. You haven't been up front about your costings. You haven't been up front about your election commitments and what are they going to cost. So we want to know, what are you going to cut? What are you going to sell? Who's going to get sacked? What is going to happen there? Be up front with Territorians before the election. And I think it is outrageous that today the Deputy Chief Minister, the Treasurer, who has been in hiding uh, because of her appalling performance over four years, she is the worst performing Treasurer the Northern Territory has ever seen and has overseen $8.2 billion in debt, a debt burden that our children and their children will have to wear. And for her to come out swinging today against the country Liberal Party shows just how little a plan they have for the Territory's future. Despite the size of that debt, Tom, all parties seem to be on a unity ticket when it comes to whether they'll actually try to do something about it. They've been asked <laughs> several times over the past few days what it is that they would rein in as far as spending goes uh, to try and reduce that debt. No one seems to have an answer to that question. You know we're in an election campaign when political parties are out there making lots of promises about the things they're going to do, the things they're going to spend money on, but not saying too much about what they might cut back. No, that would be far too hard. Trudy, meanwhile, Michael Gunner says he's going to throw the kitchen sink at further coronavirus economic support. I assume that's not some sort of uh, well, stimulus package for tradies. Well, Tom, not quite literally throw the kitchen sink, but he certainly had a good laugh about that today. But this is after what we've heard from the Prime Minister and Treasurer over the last few weeks, that the states and territories also need to do much more of the heavy listing when it comes to the fiscal supports, things like on top of what we're seeing with JobKeeper as that continues to get phased out post-September. Michael Gunner making the case today that he certainly would be willing to do much more when it comes to providing fiscal support, but it wasn't the same strong message when it comes from the CLP. I've thrown the kitchen sink at this in the last National Cabinet when the PM made that point. I did point out to the Prime Minister I think we've done some pretty good stuff here and the Prime Minister agreed with that. I think we're, you can see the 7,000 jobs that we saved, Territory Government, Australia Government working together. And if I have to throw a kitchen sink again, I will, but I think you'll see kitchen sink mark too in the coronavirus fiscal report when we announce those additional tourism voucher grant schemes, we announce the immediate work grant scheme, we announce extension to the My Territory grant scheme. If elected on Saturday, we will continue to support businesses and Territorians doing it tough during COVID-19. And we are highly critical of the Gunner government, who have nothing more to say but to point fingers and try and distract people from their own uh, astronomical failures over four years. Uh, we should have been able to support our businesses better, but we couldn't because the government spent all our money on pet projects and we all have nothing to show for it. We will work hard to grow our economy. Tom, Michael Gunner talks a lot about saving jobs here in the Territory, but he certainly doesn't appear willing to save more of those tourism jobs that would be um, able to be saved if they open the Territory's borders, keeping a very firm line on that, saying his is about saving lives and not necessarily saving jobs.